Good morning. I, last night, did a um, team training. And I do uh, personal development in my team trainings because I think it's really, really important. Um, especially when you're doing what we do. Um, but I was thinking about it this morning and I was like, every, every woman needs to hear this. So um, I wanted to share some personal development with you guys. Um, I've, I've kind of shared some, some posts um, over the past maybe couple of months, but um, I, have, I, I read a lot of personal development books and the one that we're um, training on right now is You Are a Badass because it's a killer book. Um, but there's a segment that I went over last night called Love the One You Is. And there were several points that I thought everybody, not just not just every every woman, but everybody should hear and understand. Um, so the first one was appreciate how special you are. You are the only you in this world. Like I tell my daughter all the time, God put you here for a reason. You are special. You are unique. You are the only one who thinks the way you think feels the way you feel, loves the way you love, you know, does things that you do the way you do them. There's only one. So you are a big deal. Don't think you're not. Or that you're, or that you're, you're um, not, how do I say this? You're not um, any better than anybody else. You're not. You're, you're, you're you. So there is, there's no comparison. You're, you are who you are and you're a big deal. Um, draw on yourself in affirmations. I do this a lot. Um, if you didn't see the 20 morning affirmations that I posted Sunday, go back and look at them. Um, wake up every morning and be affirmative with yourself. Say, I'm awesome, I'm gonna kill it today and actually believe it. You know, it doesn't matter what you can say, oh my hair is looking awesome or I love my eyes, look at yourself in the mirror and just and, and encourage yourself. It's not that hard, but the more you do that, the more you're going to believe it and the better you're going to feel about yourself. One of the ones, some of the ones that they um, give as examples in here is, um, I am one with the universe, the universe is awesome, and so am I. Or, my heart is open, love pours out, um, I am brilliant, bright, and beautiful, um, I love how tall I am and the size of my ass. Anything, anything that you can think of that, that you can use as an affirmation just just do it daily and it'll actually start to it, it actually will change your mindset so do that do the things that you love I really like this one if you love going to the movies go to the movies if you love going for a run go for a run if you love taking a nap in the middle of the day or binge watching on Netflix do it because what makes you when you when you make yourself happy and do things that you enjoy that's the vibe that you're putting out you're putting that happiness out there because you're putting it in so what what you're what you're putting in is also what you're putting out so if you're you know miserable constantly because you don't enjoy anything that you're doing that's the vibe that you're gonna put out there and those are the people that you're gonna attract um, find a replacement if I, I use this example last night if you walk into a group of good-looking successful people would you feel like you were equal, like you belong there, or would you feel smaller, like they were better than you? I don't feel that way anymore. When I go to like our events and trainings and stuff, I believe 100% that I deserve to be there just like every other person in that building. Even no matter how high ranked they are, or how low ranked they are, we are all equals. We are a team, we support each other. So instead of like, walking past your mirror and being like, oh, yikes, you know, walk in front of that mirror and be like, hello, gorgeous. Like it's it replace the negative with a positive. Um, ditch the self depreciating humor. Don't make fun of yourself. Don't put yourself down. It's a terrible thing to do. Um, if you're, let me see, 
It says, um, our thoughts become our words, our words become our beliefs, our beliefs become our actions, our actions become our habits, and our habits become our realities. So when you're constantly crapping on yourself all the time and putting yourself down, that's how you're going to feel about yourself. And nobody's going to want to be around you because you're a bummer all the time, right? So don't crap on yourself all the time. Be positive about yourself. Like I said, you are the one and only you. And I think everybody needs to hear that. Um, let the love in. If somebody compliments you, if, if they are like, oh, I love your top. It's not, oh, this radio thing. Say thank you and move on. Let the love in. Let people compliment you. Don't turn it into a negative. Try to keep it on positive. Um, and don't compare yourself to others. Because comparison is the fastest way to take the fun out of life. So like I, like I was telling them, I don't, I don't compare myself to anybody anymore. I used to. I don't do that anymore. I want to get to a certain place, but I don't compare myself to the people in that place. I'm not jealous of them. I'm supportive of them. I learn from them. And I do it my way. Um, it, the, one of the examples that they gave was if Led Zeppelin compared themselves to Mozart and took out their drummer and replaced it with harps because Mozart was bigger. Do you think that Led Zeppelin would be who Led Zeppelin is? No. Not at all. So don't compare yourself to Mozart <laughs> or anybody else because you're going to do it your way, right? No matter what you're doing, whether it's being a mom and you're like, oh, I'm not a super mom like this girl. Who cares? You're the mom that you are. You're, you're doing it your way and you're doing an awesome job at it. Your kids are alive and fed and clean. You're doing an awesome job. Just saying. Um, love yourself because it's the holy grail of happiness which I 100% believe. I used to be so down on myself. I, I was such a bummer. And I and anybody who know, has known me in the past knows I was such a downer. I was never happy about anything because I was just, I was never in a place where I could, I was like, like happy and excited about something, you know? And now it's like, I, I really, whenever I first started, um, with Senegens, I just had the, the, the lip sense. I wasn't looking to make like a huge career out of it or anything because I wasn't into makeup. I wore like maybe a little bit of eyeshadow and some eyeliner and maybe a light color lip gloss because I never wore lipstick. It was like mostly chapstick, which I don't use chapstick. That's really, really bad for you. But um, when I first started, that's, that's all I was into. I wasn't into the skincare because I've tried so many different things. And I hated looking at myself in the mirror because it was pizza face all the time, red blotchiness all over me. And I hated it. I was disgusted with myself. And whenever I first started with the with the, the makeup, I was like, oh, okay, this, I really like this. And then I got into the skincare and it changed my life. Two months, three months tops after I started using the um, oily to acne line and like the climate control and the tinted moisturizer, my face healed. It healed after 20 years of looking for something and trying numerous, numerous things. Nothing worked. Nothing. And when I finally found something that worked, you would not believe how ecstatic I was. I jumped in head first. I was like, I am going to skyrocket this because I believed in it so much and I still do. And you don't know how many times people will message me like, oh my God. I have never tried anything like this in my life. It's amazing. No, nobody has told me otherwise. And it's so easy to put something out there that you believe in so strongly. So whenever you hear, I, I, I probably wouldn't be good at it because I'm not good at selling things. Or um, I don't have time. Or um, this is going to be blunt, but that's an excuse. If you are really really passionate about something and you really want to do it and you believe that you can do it then you can there's nothing absolutely nothing stopping you but yourself one of the examples that um, I heard was if you if you your tire goes flat are you not gonna find a way to fix it or if you uh, your cell phone gets shut off are you not gonna find a way to get it turned back on there's a way there's always a way I started with nothing 
and gradually over like four or five months started building and I'm at that point now where like we're skyrocketing. Our our big team, our Crown Princess team, in for January we were like number six in the country. And for February we were number two in the country. And for March we're looking at number one. So what I'm trying to say is if you need personal development, if you are looking for an opportunity to go on amazing trips, to bring in six figures a year, potentially, um, to celebrate this amazing sisterhood. And that's what we are, we're a sisterhood. My team, I will do whatever it, ask my team, ask anybody on my team, I will do whatever it takes to make sure that they rock star because I want that for my girls. I want us all to be successful. And I, that's on, on all of the teams that we're on. We all love and support each other. Um, I think the trip down to Costa Rica, which was our trip last year, somebody mentioned, one of the, the Senna men, they call them, the husbands, mentioned that they thought they were gonna go down there with their, their wives, because there's actually a lot of Senna men down there, a lot of husbands that go with their wives, because they're very supportive of their wives, and they help their wives. and. The one guy was like, I was kind of expecting to come down here and everybody sticking up their nose, acting like they're better than everybody. And it was the exact opposite. Everybody was so friendly and so helpful and so supportive. And even Joni herself, the founder CEO of Senegens, with her husband was walking around talking to these couples, getting to know them, asking them how, you know, how their success have been, how, how they're doing in their company just because they wanna kind of walk around and get to know everybody so that if they can do anything to help you, then they can. So it's it's not one of those like compete, 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 compete to get to the top by yourself kind of things. It's a team effort. And if I ever, some of you I have, I if I have ever messaged you and told you that I want you on my team, I think you would be a rock star on my team, there's a reason why. Because I, I believe that you can. There are several of you that I've been like, have you ever thought about doing this? Because I really think you would be amazing at it. But if, if, if I have ever messaged you and said that to you, I absolutely 100% positively believe that you can. Or else I wouldn't have asked. <laughs> because I want, I want my team uh, full of rock stars. And I believe that you can. And if you believe that you can, message me because I want you. We all do. And my team is where we, we love and support each other. Like I said, I do absolutely everything that I can for my team. Um, and one of the things, oh, also one of the things that I wanted to say was um, one of the examples um, that they gave, what, what, what this kind of is, is it's, it's like a marathon. And like if you're at working at a car dealership, and you're like, I hate this place. Like, I, you like what you do, but you don't like the people you're working with. You don't like the company, the, the structure, whatever. Don't waste any more time doing, spending your time someplace that you don't like. Because life's too short. Move on to something else. Even if you've been doing it for five years, if you've been an accountant for five years and you absolutely hate it, start something new. It's not too late because you don't want to spend the rest of your days in a suck fest. It's not healthy for anybody, but it's, it, why? Why would you put yourself through that? Why would you torture yourself on a daily basis if you don't want to do it? Don't do it. Find something that you do love, something better. If you're a, a marathon runner and you are standing at the starting line, you don't know how far you're gonna get. You don't know if you're gonna get to the finish line, but you don't know unless you run for it, unless you try, right? So. Whenever that that horn goes off or that gun goes off and you take off running, how far are you gonna go? Are you gonna, in three years, are you gonna be, you know, uh, bringing in six figures a year? Are you gonna be in a new company where where there's a lot of potential, where you're no longer in a, in a, in a suck fest job that you were at? Doesn't everybody want that? So if you're not happy, make a change, change it do something about it. Don't sit back and watch other people be successful. So I'm blowing that horn right now, today. 
see what you can do, how far you can go. And if you want the amazing opportunity, message me. I would love to have you. So, a little bit of personal development for the day and um, also a little bit of um, opportunity in there. So, um, happy Friday. I just wanted to hop on and I really wanted to share that personal development with you ladies because I think everybody needs to hear it. So, even my husband last night was like, man, I should, I should take your advice right now. So, <laughs> um, let me know if anybody needs anything. Um, I will be around all day. If you want some more information on joining our amazing sisterhood and my team, the Lip Bombers, I love my team. Um, if anybody needs anything, wants some more information, message me. I will be happy to help you. Um, enjoy your Friday. Bye.